Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. So today, this is a very special video to me because this is my 100th video. It's not only my 100th video, but it's my Halloween video as well for this year. So the two of those combined are just awesome because Halloween is my favorite holiday by far. It's funny to think that I started this channel a year ago in August of 2017 with 500 subscribers. And now today, as of today, right now, I have uh, 32,000 subscribers and that's just amazing. I can't believe that uh, the channel exploded as much as it did. That's amazing. And I have you to thank for that. So thank you so much. And as a show of appreciation, I am going to bring you another quibbler. That's right, this video is another fully readable quibbler and it is 20 pages. I think it's uh, in including the front cover. So it's basically 18 pages from uh, inside cover to inside cover. And I have my patrons to thank for the content because I went to Patreon and I asked some of my patrons if they wanted to collaborate and I got some uh, good responses and they sent me stories for the Squibbler. So I just designed it, but most of the content was written by my patrons. So thank you to Cassandra Karnstein, Frida Orvaland, Emily Smoke, Jim Monroe, Mervyn Fenwick, and Cindy McBride. And if anybody else wants to collaborate with me, I'll be offering collaborations through my Patreon in the future as well. Anyways, go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're gonna to need to make this DIY, as well as the free downloadable templates, and let's get started. This is gonna be a pretty easy DIY. If you're familiar with my previous quibbler that I made, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm making mine on 11 by 17 paper. You can do yours on any size you want, eight, 0.5 by 11 or 11 by 17, which is a four or a three paper. And I tried to design this so that it looked like, you know, something that came out of the movie, something that me and Alima would design. Anyways, if you wanna know how to do this on 11 by 17 or a four paper, you can check out my uh, original video for the Quibbler. That's exactly how I do it in that video. In this video, I'm focusing mainly on the 11 by 17 paper because it's a lot easier and I do recommend this method. If your printer can't do 11 by 17 paper, then you should probably have this printed somewhere. So I'm gonna use my long reach stapler and I'm just going to uh, measure because I'm, I'm gonna staple this in the middle and this is 11 by 17 paper. So I'm gonna put my measurement at about eight and a half inches here on my stapler and I'll just stack these up and use my long reach stapler to staple these together in the middle. Okay, so now that we have both staples in the middle, we're gonna staple it in two spots right here and here. We can fold this paper in half. And now the only thing we have left to do is trim off the white from around the edges. To do that, I'm gonna use a ruler and X-Acto knife. You could use a paper cutter or whatever method you feel comfortable with. And now you should have your fully readable quibbler. The articles, like I said, are fully readable. This game right here, you can actually play this game. You can fill this in. If you'd like a chance at winning the Quibbler that I made in this video today, there's a link to the weekly giveaway in the description box below. If I can get 700 likes on this video, I'll be giving away two of these. And if I can get 1,000 likes on this video, I'll be giving away four Quibblers. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video if you want free Harry Potter stuff. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.